QuickBooks Desktop 2023 Accounts Payable Graphs. Let's do it with Intuit's QuickBooks Desktop 2023. Support accounting instruction by clicking the link below, giving you a free month membership to all of the content on our website, broken out by category, further broken out by course, each course then organized in a logical, reasonable fashion, making it much more easy to find what you need than can be done on a YouTube page. We also include added resources such as Excel practice problems, PDF files, and more like QuickBooks backup files when applicable. So once again, click the link below for a free month membership to our website and all the content on it. Here we are in QuickBooks Desktop Sample Rock Castle Construction Practice File provided by QuickBooks going through the setup process we do every time maximizing the homepage to the gray area view drop down hide icon bar open windows list checked off open windows open on the left hand side reports drop down company and financial P&L profit loss income statement changing that range in 010124 to 123124. That's January to, set to December 2024. Customize it. Fonts and numbers to change the font to 12. Okay. Yes, please. Okay. Reports drop down. Company and financial this time. The balance sheet R drop down for the fiscal year 123124. Customize it so we can get to the fonts so we can change it on up to 12 rise it on up okay so there we have it, the two major financial statements reports that being the balance sheet and the income statement all other reports pretty much giving us more information expanding on one or multiple lines in the major financial statement reports we have open here now we're going to be looking at the accounts payable graphs we looked at accounts receivable graphs last time accounts payable is down here it is an accrual account there goes up when we enter bills and then it goes down when we pay the bills off so we're owing vendors people that are providing us goods and services and so we're going to sort that out by a, a graph show it pictorially so the report that this would be based on then would be if i go to the reports drop down we go to the vendors and payables and we've got the accounts uh, vendors balance summary let's do that one and so there it is so now we've got let's customize it fonts and numbers changing the font to 12 so we could see it a bit better a bit better so there it is so now this is who we owe listed out and then there's the total 26 6 36 92 tying out to the balance sheet if we wanted to present that pictorially possibly because we want to show it monthly to like a client or to like a supervisor or because we want to put it into a presentation and have pretty colors on it and everything or we just like to look at the colorful thing that we can go to the reports drop down and you could find it in the vendors and payables we've got our a graph right there you can also find it in the report center of course let's do it that way to maximize the report center because it always unmaximizes which is just annoying but you know get over it that's how it works and then here it is we'll run it right there it's stupid that it does that though but whatever so there it is so we've got this now it looks a lot like the accounts receivable graph that we looked at last time but now this is people we owe money to as opposed to people owing us money once again we've got the pie chart down below which is nice but it's quite static once again it's got this kind of uh 3d impact which i don't personally like although it's kind of a cool effect because it seems deceptive to me because once again this blue icon which it was this vendor looks like it's a lot bigger than it should be when compared to the green one here which is obviously a lot bigger in reality. So it seems when I see something like that, I think slimy marketers trying to pull one, <laughs> trying to trying to skew my opinion or something, but maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm a little paranoid, but there is that. Now, if I look at this and we, we see how are these calculated, we can go up top. And so this is gonna be the Perry, the vendor balance summary. So this one, let's pull out a trusty calculator here and just do a calculation with it that's what we do with calculators do some calculation pull that thing out this is perry we're going to say this is going to be the 6705 divided by the total of 
2663, 6.92. Moving the decimal two places over, 25.17. So we're going to say, okay, does that tie out here? 25.17. There it is. Now note that if you put this graph, because it's nice and colorful, into a presentation, you give it to someone in the month in summary or something, then they might actually ask you what it means. So you gotta have you gotta be able to say, okay, yeah, that's my that's who we owe the money to. That's the percentage that we owe in comparison basically to the total down here. This report up top represents the aging report. So if you could find that by going to the reports drop down, you can go to the vendor and payable AP aging as of 12.31.24. And so there we have it. So we owe, like if we look at the percentages here, this one is three, four, five, nine point two of the total, 26.63, about 12, 13% or so. And so you can see this, this, it's in thousands here, but that's basically the concept or the idea of that one now again you can't do much more for this so it's a nice graph but you can't change the colors you can't do much more other than this i can't change the fact that we have 10 vendors represented what if i want less or more what if i want the pies to be larger by having less vendors and more in this other category or less can't do much about it because it is what it is so it's a lot more flexible to be able to export this stuff to excel note that if you did want to present this to somebody you could of course print it and you could print it as a PDF uh, file which uh, to a PDF printer, which could save it as a PDF, which could be useful if you want to group it with other reports, for example. You could also open in and up any Microsoft program, like, like this, is, this is PowerPoint, and you might do some screen clippings, right? You can use Snippet as a screen clipper, or you can use the Microsoft program image screenshot, and then I'm going to take a clipping, and you might just say, well, maybe I just want like the pie chart here. And then maybe you don't, maybe you don't need the title. So once again, the screen clipping, little formatting, I can go up top and say, let's crop this down to here. Let's make it a little bit larger so I could see it for now. Let's remove in the picture formatting, remove the background. So now all the stuff in pinks, what's gonna be removed? I wanna keep this stuff. I wanna keep this stuff uh, so don't remove that. That stuff's important. Uh, PowerPoint. Can't you tell? Can't you tell the important stuff? So something like that. And then you can, then of course you can copy the key over, insert, and you can say, let's put the key in too. So like that. That's one way that you can easily kind of put this together in you know, whatever format you're presenting this to somebody. You can copy that over in Excel or something. If you're making an Excel worksheet to put all your reports on one report, that's one easy way to put this pictorial thing in there. Uh, next time though, we'll, we'll try to take the report, which is gonna be the vendor balance summary, which is gonna be easier to do uh, than it was with the accounts receivable because we don't have the, the problem of jobs here. We don't have those sub accounts. So I could just export this really easily and then just make this into a pie chart. And so we'll do that next time. Cause like I say, that would be, give you way more flexibility to do what you want, to customize the colors that you want in the pie chart and to customize, you know, the look and feel of it to not make it look deceptive with this 3D kind of stuff uh, and so on, which again, I, it's not my, I just, but you, you know, it's kind of cool at the same time, I'm not trying to put it down or anything unless they're trying to deceive with it. If they're not trying to deceive with it, then you know, whatever, it's a cool effect. But so we'll do that next time.